call. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, uh, the call was hijacked. <laughs> okay, before proceeding, any question on the topics what we have discussed yesterday? No questions? Okay. Fine, if we don't have any question, we should go to the assignments. Okay, anyone, uh, I think, oh, oh, because I have not received solution. Have you guys tried this, this assignment? So you want to try it today? I have given only three assignments. Oh, huh, correct, correct, correct. Anyone? Okay, yeah, this was the big, big one. Have you tried this? One, two, and third, no question. So if you guys have not tried, it, it's of no use here if I'm telling you the solution. I will request again, take some time out, okay, and try to work on this. All the questions are almost simple, only not much complicated. So you guys will try or you want me to, to, to share the solution. Yeah, uh, I tried, uh, but I'm sure that my query will win, will be wrong. And but ah, no, no issue there. You have tried. That is what I, I want. Just try it. I'm not bothered. It is right or wrong. Just want because I, I in third one I have um, in one of the eight cases it is getting hmm. failed. So still I applied a solution, and for first one I did the hmm. minus a uh, thing. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, by group by first one yeah, first okay one. i will do one thing here i will suggest everyone to go through this again okay because assignments working on assignment is very important uh, go through this yeah. again try to solve it don't bother that this option is correct incorrect or whatever it may be if you think that the question is not clear get back to me yeah, actually, uh, uh, for that second question, I think uh, the expected output is one, two, one, null. One, two, one, null. That is equal to reduce that, which is one table, but not an employee. Two table considering duplicate records as well. One, one who is table, missing? One table. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Correct, 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 correct. correct yeah, sorry. I actually, I. Right. Yeah, I have worked on these three, all three questions, but uh, uh, I can write a separate query for those uh, uh, null and not null, but uh, while clapping it, uh, I did not got the output, so that... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll do one thing, I will give today's time, okay, but tomorrow is a third day. So, take, okay. You have weekends, okay, Saturday and Sunday is there. Please solve these questions. I will give assignment today as well. And then together we will work on, on Monday on the assignments. Hope that works fine. Yeah, okay. okay so everyone try your level best and don't uh, don't ask anyone, don't take any help, okay, don't Google it. Although these questions I think will not be present on Google. Anyway, if you get it from somewhere, so my, my, my concern is try yourself, guys, okay? You are your own evaluator. It's not something like test is going on. So, yeah. But but try to work on this. That's the main thing. That's why I'm giving some concentration, more concentration on the queries part. Okay. Hope this is this is clear to everyone. Right? Okay. Any question on this? Like okay, then with this question is not clear. Tell me what the question is. Hope the question is clear to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, uh, update we have discussed. Oh, I have to start with police servicing and strength with us agenda today. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. That's it. Well, let's start with police first of all. Sandeep has hijacked my class today. Delete this one. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm planning that for Shark Tank question. No, and this question I will schedule a separate Zoom call. So those who are interested, they can <clears throat> join to understand that how, what is the question and how I will tell the query. Fine. Now we'll try to understand what is <clears throat> Coalice function. Do you have a table deployed? Suppose, uh, suppose, 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 suppose. I will 
I will share some live project on the number. Uh, before explaining like what what is what is okay i will show you output okay uh, you guys have to look into the output think try apply your reasoning or analytical ability and then you have to tell me that what is happening and then i think you will understand by yourself that what is quality function Point table created and insert into AMP values. Fundamentals. Just roughly, I'm taking some values. So, uh, this. This is I'm showing you one from my last project, and this was the requirement. So you have an employee table that doesn't look good actually. Okay, so this is the front table. Okay, and this is the return. Let me show you the data. Hope oh, this is clear. Okay, let me give you a background of this of this data. So you have a fund. Okay, these are the fund India Fund, Tech Listed Venture, e commerce joint venture, Parma Fund, and all those things. Okay, you know the concept of fund that people will put into the money and all those things. Then they will spend in some uh, companies, investment will happen, and then the, the, uh, the the what i can say the those who has, who has given the money they will get some returns fine dividends fine so here here the thing is like uh, requirement i'm telling you requirement requirement is like for fund name we have few fund manager fund manager one fund manager two fund manager three okay so first of all the top priority will be of the fund manager one so if you have the fund manager one so he will be taking care of this fund okay so here if i will give you the first example so here here, who will be the fund manager of India FinTech? A, right? Because have, we have the fund manager one here. So A will be the fund manager of India FinTech. Now for real estate venture, who will be the fund manager? B. 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 So the priority is like, first of all, you have to search for manager one. If you don't have manager one value, then you have to go for manager two. So here you can see manager one is null. So I will give priority to manager two. So for real estate venture, the fund manager will be B, correct? And for e-commerce yes. joint venture? C. 
सी सी बिकॉज नो प्रायोरिटी इज थर्ड सो दायोरिटी इज लाइक यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट मैनेजर वन इफ इज नॉट देयर मैनेजर टू इफ इज नॉट देयर मैनेजर थ्री विल टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पार्टिकुलर फंड okay if there is no uh, no manager assigned then it will be null only okay this was the requirement and <clears throat> and then i have to write a query for this so this is the data of you and the expectation is i want fund name and this is the fund name the expected output fund name and fund manager for india fintech a will be the fund manager right and for digital venture b will be the fund manager asc will be the fund manager and this will be null only correct is the question clear yes this is the question now for that what i can do we have a coalesce function name less coalesce so for for the two for nation okay really assess fund manager from one now i think this is simple you will understand what is so what happened one manager one manager or i am little so yeah what happened yaar this is throwing a message again i missed something somewhere oh fund name no point oh, let me run this fine is this the correct output first of all yeah yes okay so hope you understood the function of qualis so qualis i have written fund manager 1 fund manager 2 fund manager 3 so i am telling so moment i will write qualis the sequel engine will understand that okay user user is giving fund manager 1 the top priority if this value is not present then i have to jump to fund manager 2 if fund manager 2 value is not there then i have to jump to fund manager 3 if fund manager 3 value is not there then i cannot do anything that will be null all this is clear any question on this this was very simple this is like you are giving priority if this is null i want this if this is null i want this suppose you went to a restaurant okay restaurant you told to the waiter that okay do you have uh uh uh, uh do you have coca cola if coca cola is not there bring me limka if limka is not there bring me uh lassi like that if nothing is not there you will you will tell that okay i will go to some other restaurant it happens no i want this if this is not there bring me this if this is not there bring me this so it's exactly same you are telling the sequel engine that assign fund manager 1 to this particular fund fund manager 1 is not there assign fund manager 2 if he is also not there assign fund manager 3 is that clear so first so first not null value will be returned from police First, not null. Sorry, I I didn't get you. मैं uh, अगर कोई पहला not uh, मतलब uh, not null value हो उसे ये return करेगा कोई हाँ 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 correct 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 yeah, हाँ you can tell in that way as well that first not null value will be retrieved you are correct means if this is not null this will be retrieved or this like that you are also correct yeah that's also good. so it will give priority to this fund manager 1 if this is not present then it will go to fund manager 2 if it is not present then it will go to fund manager 3 it is like that only from here you can see fund manager 1 value was present so he is assigned that okay he is a fund manager of this particular fund for the second record you can see for real estate venture fund fund manager 1 was absent then he has assigned the authority to fund manager 2 that okay b will be the fund manager right and for third one you can see that fund manager 1 and fund manager 2 they both were absent then uh, c c is the fund manager and here you don't have any value so it is none any question on this anyone who wants to repeat no okay no 
Okay, so suppose now the requirement is that, okay, this is fine that you're assigning fund managers based on the priority, quite perfect, okay. But uh, the, the requirement is that, okay, for pharma fund, so my manager is asking me for pharma fund, why the fund manager is null here? So I will give him the justification that, okay, fund manager one, two, three, the, no values were there. So team has not sent any value. That's why this is coming as null, okay. But what happens though, no? null is a null or blank, these are very confusing, okay, because null, if you're showing null, so maybe the business stakeholders, they will think that the value was sent by the source team, but when you have applied some logic, you have missed it. Okay. So they want something to be mentioned here in this case. Or whenever you are filling form, what will happen? If some, some field is not applicable, they will tell you that please mark by which value, mm -hmm. by which MA, correct. So that is what the requirement here is. If you think that fund manager is null, so please replace that with NA. Okay. So now you want output in this fashion. If it is null, please replace this with NA. They want like this. So what I have to do here in this query? Replace null with none. Sorry, replace to add the NA function. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. See, uh, what I will do, I will add an NVL null value logic so what was the function of nvl so wherever null is there it will replace that with that particular value correct if you guys remember that now my question that nvl if i'm using nvl so that particular value will be replaced in the table uh, and it will save or this is just for display purpose just for display this is just for display i have explained yesterday as well okay can you use the function or you can just replace as well. Yeah, you can use replace as well. Okay, so NVL. So now I'm using NVL function. Okay, and then I will pick up this one. Now see, this is you can see NA is present here. So what this NVL will do? So NVL will will search for this. First of all, this will be executed. If null is present, then that will be replaced with NA. So you can see fund manager was null earlier. No, that has been replaced with NA. Hope this is clear. Any question? Yes or no? Uh, uh, Adir, uh, mm -hmm. and we'll have two uh, uh, cases, right? Uh, one we can replace with the character we are passing in second argument. And second mm -hmm. is what uh, uh, in second number we can pass any what's called uh, column name, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here in college we have same uh, facility also that we can pass a uh, character uh, in, at end. That in uh, so in college we are we are using that uh, uh, column name. Uh, column name only. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. all, as a column uh, name only. Mm -hmm. So Correct. we can we use any kind of character to pad that. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, you cannot use is that. It possible okay. only in NVL only. That NVL, NVL will do that. NVL will both do the, that. Both the way you can. Uh -huh. NVL will do that. Character also you can pad it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NVL will do that. So actually what is happening here in this part of this query? So what is happening? So first of all, SQL is considering this query. It will execute this query. Okay. This will execute this query. And then wherever it is null, it will replace that with NA. Okay. Or else it, to keep it written null, then it will be present. Okay. okay. Hmm. Yeah. Is this clear? Any confusion? Okay. Now I'm planning to move to substring function. Substring, I think I have some examples. Hope that can save time. Last version I have taught. Substring in string. No, yeah, I miss it. I miss it. I have to prepare. Okay, I think I have missed that. Okay, hope well, this is clear. Now let's uh, move to
same same fund name okay same thing i have taken now i'm considering on fund name now oh, we have the substring okay what the substring will do so i understand this is a very simple but very powerful Okay, can you see any difference in this two output fund name and this fund name? Yes or no? No. Okay, both are one and the same. Perfect. Take care. Can you see some differences now? What is happening here? Yeah. First character. Only first character is retrieved, right? In India fintech, the first character is I, so you have I here. In real estate venture, first character is R, so you have R. Similarly, for e-commerce joint venture, pharma fund. Is this clear? Yes. Now, now what the substring is doing? Sub, sub str means sub string. Okay, what this is doing? So I have written fund name. So I am turning to SQL engine. That SQL engine, please concentrate on this fund name column. So he is standing on this fund name column. Okay. Now I am telling. Now this one. After this fund name, I have written one. So what is the meaning of this one? From this one, I'm telling the stand on the first position. The stand on the first position. So here, one minute, guys. If I can teach you from this part. Okay, so this is the really this is the query. Okay, so first of all, try to understand this one. From here, what I'm trying to tell that SQL, please concentrate on the fund name. So SQL is standing at this particular fund name column. Okay, after this, I'm telling first means stand on the first position or first character of each and every record so now the first character of india is i correct so he is standing at i only let me highlight this standing at i okay similarly is standing at r for real estate not standing for the first character of each and every record okay similarly for e-commerce and pharma after that i am telling after one again i have written one after one you can see no again i have written here one now what is the meaning of this i am telling to SQL engine that proceed one step. Proceed one step. Now there is a twist. There is a twist. If from I the SQL engine will proceed one step, where it will reach? N. N. It will reach N, right? but it will not go to n so here in sql engine one step means he will stand at the second first position only so i and r only so that's why you can see the output is i and r but suppose if i will write if i will change this to this value one comma two so now what i am telling we'll explain what's the output of this First two. Strings. First two. I am telling to stand at the first position. So for name I have written comma one. One means to stand at the first position. So SQL engine is standing at I. Then I am telling move two steps. So I will be considered as first step and N will be considered as second step. That's why output is I and N. Similarly, in real estate venture, I stand at the first position because this is one. It is standing at R. Move how many steps? Two steps. So R and E is two a step. That's why output is R. Is this clear? Yeah, it's clear. But yeah. in second column, um, for fun name comma one, one which determines uh, that first index, right, sir? Uh -huh. Then how it's display the entire input? You are you are talking about this one, right? Yeah, yeah. I will come to this. Just give me two minutes time, okay? I will come to this. Yeah, yeah, okay. One comma three, what will be the output for this? Who will explain? I and, I and D. R I A. and D. 
R E A. Okay, let, let me run this. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. I N D R E A. Is it fine, everyone? Convinced? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Similarly, if I will give I one comma four, so it will take the first four characters, right? Yes. One comma hundred. Oh, what happened here? One comma hundred. We'll explain this one. Starting spaces. Starting from one and going to hundred steps. Starting from one and take hundred steps. That doesn't matter if you have hundred steps or not. It will. It will. It will go on running. Now for India fintech, you have I think close to 20, 15 steps. Maybe it will stop here. Okay, is this clear? Yeah. Everyone, is this clear, guys? Any in and out on this? Because this is going to be complicated now. That's why I'm asking. No doubt. Okay. Now, when I've executed this, I have mentioned to SQL Engine to stand at the first position, but I have not told any steps, right? Yeah. I have not mentioned any step, and that's a question. So by default, by default, if you're not mentioning the steps, the SQL will understand that I have to cover all the characters. Okay, if you're not mentioning a step, by default, SQL will understand that I have to cover all the characters. Is this fine? Now, first of all, is this clear? Yeah. 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 And why we do this, what is the purpose of this is, Always here you have four four records only. Again, in the in the real project you have millions of records, and you are not sure that in a particular fund name how many characters are there. Now you have two options: either you give any number like this random number, and you are under the impression that it will cover all the characters. Okay, the first way. Second way is you go with this substring fund name comma one, and you are telling to SQL engine that I am not sure boss how many characters are there. Please cover all the characters. This is also doing the job. This is also doing the job. Which one you will prefer? First one. First one. This one, right? Why you will prefer yeah. this one? Because we are not passing any hard coded value. Yeah, and you are not on, uh, and you are on a safer side, because maybe suppose in fund name I have some fund which is very long, two hundred characters. So if you think if I will run this, that will be covered. It will be truncated. Correct? Yes. Correct. So that is why this is the safest one when you're not sure about the length, how many steps you have to move. Hope this is clear. Yeah. Uh, can be one question here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, third argument. Uh, can we pass a, a, I will come. Pass a uh, negative zero? Yeah. I will, no, yeah. I will come. I will come. Yeah. And another one is, uh, can we pass a character length? Is, uh, is you can pass. Other... Okay. You can use length function as well. If you know that length function, you can use that as well. Uh, okay. Can we, uh, will mm -hmm. the, uh, 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 whether we are using the substring fund name, comma one and uh, mm -hmm. fund name, comma one, comma hundred. So mm -hmm. will the fund name comma one will take uh, this uh, time? Like uh, for one to hundred, it will have to take this the hundred will... steps for. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, your question is that then we, this will take less time. You're, you're talking from performance perspective, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just asking whether uh, it will take the same time or uh, the less time. Okay, okay. See, very, very simple, very simple concept. I will tell you from performance. I have a performance testing for JMeter and some other tools. So what's the logic? And from SQL perspective, whenever you're thinking of performance now, I will give you a very secret logic of that. Think that in which particular keyword or in which particular logic, SQL is doing more task. Okay, that's all, the story finish. Your performance will be done. Where condition and having always this question with their interviews, which one is better in performance? The answer is where. Why? Because it has to do less tasks. In having more tasks is there, correct? Any other, you you take anyone, self-join, 
it is very costly. Why there is more task? Same copy you have to replicate, then you have to compare the same data, scan it, and all those things. Okay. In joints, you should not use not equal to operator. Again, these all concepts are there. A lot of concepts are there in performance. So if you will scan all those things, no, there is one main funda. And what is that funda or mool mantra or secret? Check in which keyword or in which query SQL has to do more tasks. If he has to do more tasks, performance will be less. First of all, is this clear or not? Task and performance is inversely proportional. If task SQL is doing is more, performance will be less. First of all, is this clear or not? This funda? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, this one and this one. In which one SQL is doing more task? He has to do more calculations. First Ooh, one or second one? Second one. Why? Uh, it will have to move to 100 steps for every fund name. Correct. 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 Suppose you are at your home. Okay. And you have to go to market. Right? Now from home, if you're going to market, you will just start and you will, you will walk. Right. Second task is from home. You have to go to market, but you have to go only hundred steps. So in which one you are doing more tasks here, you have to count your steps as well. You are busy counting your steps. You have to give concentration here. Is this clear? Yeah. So that's yeah. why this will be more costly as compared to this one. Hope this is clear. Yeah. Okay. So this is the funda. Whenever you are getting confused with the performance and sometimes in queries, they will ask. Just think from this perspective that in which one you have to do more tasks. Any other question, guys? No questions. Okay. Okay. One comma zero. What will be the output? No output. Why no output? Because it's going reverse. Uh, I uh, no, no, no. This is not reversed. Read like the same way how, how I have taught you right now. Fund name. You are yeah, telling yeah. to SQL engine stand on the fund name. He is standing here. At which position? First position. You are at the setting. I. You are at the I. Yeah, and then, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, setting indexes. Uh, index is zero. So that. Mm. Uh, okay, no, I, I don't want to go into that index and all those things. Okay, because may, maybe this is a new term for this, but you are correct. Yeah, logic is correct. So now you are telling zero. Zero means what? Second argument is what? Number of steps, right? First argument is the position. Second argument is the number of steps. So now you are telling to take zero step. The zero step means you will not go anywhere. And that's why the output is zero. Is it oh. correct? Okay. So apply the same logic what I have taught you. Fund name, you are telling to SQL engine stand at this fund name column. And what this means? Position, where you have to stand at the first character. How many steps you have to take? First step. So the, this one is the position where you have to stand. And this is the number of steps. So here you are telling that to stand on the first position. SQL is standing here. Then you are telling don't take any step. So he has not taken any step. Output is zero. Not clear. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Now I am taking two comma one. This is new, right? Two comma one. First of all, tell me what is the meaning of this two comma one? Stand at two and take one. Very good. Step. Stand at the second position. So here, which one is the second position? And and how many step he has to take? One. One. So what will be the output? And and that's all. Okay. Let me run this. Is it fine? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Same logic. Okay. Many variants are there. Apply the same logic. Now this one. What will the output for this? So I was saying fund name two comma two. ND. Stand at the second position. Second position is in. How many steps have to take? Two steps. So two. N and D will be the output. N and D is the output. Is it clear to everyone, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now.
please stop me if you think it's not clear you want to repeat please tell me 2 comma minus 1 what about this i i defer i i i i, I. okay first of all tell me what is the meaning of this here who will explain this stand at 2 and take one step back stand at 2 and take one step back, back. because i have used minus here no okay but you'd be surprised with the output here what happened? Oh, none. none. Why? What happened? Surprised? Yeah. Okay. I will give you a funda here. Just remember this. That's all. It's very finish. This is the third funda. SQL engine will never go back. Take care. You are telling to yeah. SQL that to stand at the second position from this one. Okay. SQL is in the standing at the second position is I. Okay. Now you are telling to SQL that please take a reverse gear and go backwards. Right. But unfortunately, SQL engine in that car, no reverse gear is there. He cannot go back. Okay. Is this fine? Yeah. yeah. So in the negative uh, uh, argument, we can't pass, right? Mm -hmm. I'll explain. I'll explain. You. Sorry, yeah. one one few examples I have to give. Okay, after that, everything will be clear. Negative arguments you can pass, but where you have to pass, I will show you the example now. Okay, before proceeding, any question on on these examples? Please tell me if you have any question. If you want me to repeat this again, I will repeat. I don't have any concern. Mm, Prasad, is this clear? Yeah, yes. Okay. Perfect. Minus one comma one. Okay. Minus one comma one. Now see, this example and this example, they both are different. Why? A standing position is changed. Ah, correct, correct. A standing position is changed. Here I've taken minus A in the last third argument. But here the second argument is minus one. Okay. Now. This is the one, right? Yeah. Correct. Output is H. Output is A. Output is E and output is D. Who will explain me why output is H here? Uh, it has uh, minus one. It has uh, treated from the uh, rightmost side. Perfect. From the end. Huh. You see, if when you have written minus one, the moment you will write minus one, the SQL will stand at the right position. It is standing here now. Okay. At this character. From here, it will from backwards, it will start from the right direction. Okay. How many steps? One step. That's the output is H only. Is this clear? Sure. Yes. If we pass minus two, it will stand at a C. I will show you that. Well. This thing minus one comma two. What about this? What happened? The sequel cannot go backward. It cannot go backward. Take care. Backward. Just three funda I have told you. Just remember that. That's all. All, all these examples will rotate around that only. Substring minus one comma three. What happened? The car is stopped. It is not moving. Why the car is not moving, guys? Minus one comma one, same output. Minus one comma two, same output. Minus one comma three, same output. Why? There is no way to move. Yes. Why it cannot move? It will not go back to SQL engine. No, there, there is no way to move forward, right? Correct. No way to move forward. First of all, you can see everything is same, right? Now, what is happening when it is standing at H? So, so don't. Okay, one minute here. Let me take this example to explain you. Okay. Take this example of India FinTech. I'll keep it here. Okay. Let me increase it. Fine. 
when i written minus 1 so it is standing at this position one minute let me back it is standing at h correct now if it is standing at h i have a question to you guys Oh, where is the tarot? Where is the tarot? Where is the tarot? Ah. Sequel is facing towards this direction or sequel is facing towards this direction. First of all, this is the question. Which direction sequel is facing? Left or right? Right. Right. All right. This one you tell, right? You mean this one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't think that if sequel is standing here, he is facing towards left. No, he's facing towards right. Okay. So sequel is facing towards this direction. Hope this is clear. Now, in all these three examples, in all these three examples, what you're trying to tell, you are telling to SQL that, okay, you stand at the last, minus one means to start from the end. So you're standing here. You're telling to move one position. So one position means it will stay at H, fine. Now in the second example, we are telling minus one comma two. You're telling a standard of minus one, but move two position. So now he can move, there is any option to move here. Nothing is there. So that's why output is still H. Similarly, if you see this one, minus one comma three, you're standing at the minus one, the end position. Now you're telling to move three, third, three characters. So you are thinking that he will go, a second engine will go in this direction, but he's not going in this direction because this is the reverse gear for him. He will always move in the front direction. But in front direction, there's no characters. So that's why still the output will be H only. Hope this is clear. Yes. Any question on this? So again, this is also working on this one. SQL engine will never go back. Okay. Any question now? Now you are free. Please ask questions. I have a few more examples, but please ask questions. Any other thing is coming? Yes. Yes. No questions. Yeah, we change the uh, starting position like minus four, so it will just uh, it will starting start from minus, minus four. four, and yeah. then so this one two. Then we can have the two, yeah. So it will start from uh, fourth place from last. See if you are using minus four, okay, or any other character with minus and all those things. So here, see what is happening. You have mentioned minus four comma two, okay. One minute. One minute, one minute. Like it. Apply the same funda what I have taught. So fund name minus four. Minus four means which which position? Here. Fourth position from end. Fourth position from end. So from end, fourth position is T. Okay. okay. This is done. Hmm. How many steps you have to go? Two steps. Two steps. So two steps means T and E. What is T and E? Is this clear? Oh, yeah. I hope substring is clear to you all. Any question on this, guys? Uh, Tanvir, if you want to intentionally reverse the string only, so there is no any other functionality. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You, you can do that, but we have something different for that. I will explain you. Uh, 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 with the combination of substring and in string. Okay. That we will see. Okay. Okay. So, any question on this? Servicing, is this clear? Okay. If you have no response, means I am assuming it is clear. Now, then you have a concept of in a string. Okay, I think I missed that. I miss it. No, 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 it is there. This is the one in a string. Correct, 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 correct. This is the one. So this saves time. Okay, now I have we have two more minutes. So just give me two to three minutes. Okay, and then cover try to cover string function. I'm creating this table employee now. 
table is created. Now oh, this is the data in front of you. This is the data, and now we are talking about in a string function. What is this? Let's see what, what this will do. Let me comment it out. Let's see what it will do. Okay, I'm executing this one. Name, comma, in a string, name, comma, A. That's all. Missing expression. Oh, what is the meaning of this? Who will explain? It gives the position of the character. It is giving me the position of character A from in a string. You're asking name. SQL engine that tell me in this name column, what is the position of character A? So here you can see what is the position? A is coming at this position. So M is first, D is second, comma is third, K is fourth, H is fifth, A is sixth. So this any string function will just inform you about the position where that particular character is present. Okay, now you will be thinking that how this will be useful. I will give you some assignment today and that will be clear to you. Okay. So, but this in a string function, this will just give you the position of character. Suppose I have written A here. If you want that note, then I want to see the comma. I want to understand that at which position comma is there. Just to execute this. This is fine. Comma is at the third position. M is at the first position. D is at the second position. Comma is at the third position. Similarly, you can validate for Rajkumar, R is at the first position, A is second, J is third, comma is at the fourth. But why for Abdul it is zero? There is no comma. There is no comma at all. Okay. But in A, B, C, D, I have three comma. Hmm. Why it is showing two only? First occurring character. First the... occurrence. Yeah, hmm. first occurrence. Here we have many comma. But SQL will start from here. And the moment SQL will see that, okay, comma is present here, it will, it will stop here. It will not move further. Okay, it will not move further. So, <clears throat> so it will start from A, first position. Then this comma is at the second position. It will throw this second and then it will stop it here. It will not move further. But your question is valid. That then we have many other comma as well. What about those comma? So I'm not bothered about the other comma. From this, I'm telling to calculate the first position, the first occurrence of comma. That's all. Any question on this? Okay. Before proceeding, I need five more minutes. Else, if you want, we can cover this in the next class. What do you want, guys? Next class, is that fine? Uh... Okay. Okay, fine. I think because the assignments are based on this only, that's why I thought. But if you guys oh, are comfortable, you hmm. can go ahead. Uh, I am comfortable that it we can oh, Prasad, proceed. Prasad, 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 Dania, is it fine? Yeah, yes. Okay, fine. So this is the second example. I N S T R name comma a comma zero comma one. Now what this will do? Let's see. Zero, oh, I should not take this example first of all. Let me delete this one. Uh, which one is the simple one? Simple one here. Mm, this one. Hmm. Okay. Name, comma, A, comma, one, comma, one, and output is six. Why the output is six? Because starting from in the string, we need first we need to find the A, hmm. then 
then uh, a comma 1 which represent the start and the mm-hmm. comma 1 represent the end okay what about this why it is 2 what is 8 here why it is 2 just give me the answer for this that's all for rajkumar why it is 2 here and why it is 8 here a which is coming a uh, uh, second time in the string hmm. and this one when i have written a comma 1 comma 2 i am telling to sql engine that mr sql i am not bothered about the first occurrence but i am bothered about the second occurrence of a that is yeah. what i am telling from this which occurrence i want second occurrence of a so here when okay. is the second occurrence second occurrence is coming here and this is at which position 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that's the dot put is 8 but if you see this one here i am telling i am bothered about the first posi- first occurrence the first occurrence of a is 2 is it clear yeah it's clear uh, can we can you repeat actually i got confused uh, the the oh. last argument you are taking the occurrence and middle ha ah, middle one leave leave this leave forget about this i will tell you what this is all about okay forget this for the time being okay just consider on the last argument this argument means occurrence if i have written one i am telling the sql engine that tell me the first occurrence of that a if i have written this i am telling the tell me the second occurrence of a is that fine yeah no no i think that's not clear so middle argument is kind of uh, i will explain that middle argument leave this one as a well. okay leave this one as a well. forget about this just understand the last argument last argument means which occurrence you want Second that occurrence. if i have written here two it means i am telling tell me the second occurrence mm. okay or if this is not clear then then take this example when is tree are name comma Oh, no, no, one, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forget about this, this three. Okay, forget about this three, guys. Don't, don't look into this three. You will get confused. First three columns, please ignore this. Just concentrate on the last column and explain me. Yeah. Don't look at the output of this. Just explain me what I want from this. That's all. Who will explain? Yeah, hmm. comma, comma, which is the uh, position of comma, uh, hmm. which is coming second time. Okay. okay yeah i i want the occurrence of comma i want the occurrence of comma but but which occurrence second 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 occurrence, second occurrence right okay fine why this is zero here there is no second there is no comma uh, second second time comma is not here second time comma is not present here very good why it is zero here same for Also. second time comma is not present here only only comma is coming once why it is zero here no. comma is not present at all okay why it is four here after b the second comma is uh, so position at which second time it's coming it's four ah, second time comma is coming at this position correct this this is the first of this is the first occurrence of comma but i don't want this one correct which occurrence i want second occurrence i want so the second occurrence is this and the position is fourth is this clear okay yeah. okay 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 no 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 i'm remo- removing this and now let me take this i know this is this is a little bit confusing okay now concentrate again on this substring name a two comma okay now take this two try to understand this two okay you have taken name 
a1 comma 2 you have taken name a2 comma 2 you're getting the same output no yes same output take care one minute one minute one minute, one minute, one minute. No, take this one zero comma one okay what about this all are zero yes all are zero right now from here okay the last argument is clear no 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 confusion about the last argument last argument no. is talking about the occurrence position correct yeah. now we are trying yeah. to understand what is the significance of zero here what is the significance of this two here what is the significance of one here okay yeah. Let me show you a few more examples. Very simple. Guys, this is very simple. Yeah, I think first time maybe like that's why this is confusing, but this is simple. A0, comma 2, same output. A0, comma 1, same output. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1, comma 2 and one and 2, comma 2 again, same output is coming now. Uh, take this one. Uh, now try to understand this. Why this is zero here? Second occurrence of A is no. not present. So, so leave this one. Now yeah. try to understand from this. Second occurrence of A. Second occurrence of A. And this is giving me two. Do you think the second occurrence of A is at the second position? Second occurrence no, of no. A is here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. From uh, my, uh, the above. Minus one, so it may be starting from the end. Uh, from the end. And very good. See, here I am written second occurrence, so it will calculate second occurrence only. Second occurrence is this one, right? But, but while calculating the position, he will come from the backwards. So R is the first position, A is the second position. That's why it is giving me two. Is it yeah, clear? But do you mean yes, sir? But you mm -hmm. mentioned that SQL cannot go backward. Ah, oh, no, no, no. He don't have to. He don't have to take those steps. He is counting. Okay. See here. Yeah. Here you have to cover those steps and you have to copy and paste it. That was a task of SQL, and you have it has to display that. Correct? No. Yeah. And that's why it was yeah. not going in that direction. It cannot copy and give you that value to you. But here I'm not telling him that to give that value. I'm just telling him to count it. So from here it is counting. This is first and this is second position. Your, your justification is correct, totally correct. Because if I consider this one, this is contradictory, right? But here the responsibility was to take that value, copy and paste and display. But here I am not telling to copy or display something. I'm just saying count it. So the, the, the counting is first and second position. Okay, so that's why the output is two here. Understood the importance of this argument? If uh, it is yeah. minus but, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me. And, and we, can uh, we do the second uh, uh, argument, uh, man, uh, four and two? Second argument, four and two. Okay. Four and then uh, comma two. Sorry. There will be no difference. Four and See. two. See, if you see this one, A4, comma 2 or A0, comma 2 or A0, comma 1. No, not 1. All the 2. This is A4, comma 2 you have taken, no? Mm. So, uh, I want to understand comma. that uh, mm. from 4, it is standing at 4 index, 4th index. The, suppose we, if we take Rajkuma, Raj, Rajkuma, comma, so it is going to comma. From there onwards, it is looking for second index, second occurrence, right? It, it, it is going in the, this way. No, no, sorry, I didn't get to. Can you can you please repeat? See, see in second uh, value that Rajkumar, Raj, uh, Raj, Rajkumar, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The second you told her the second argument, it is showing it, it will tell them from where it will start, right? Mm -hmm. So it will start from uh, comma, right? R A J comma. Start from comma, okay? Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and from there, it will look for second second occurrence, uh, and there is no second occurrence of uh, A, 
So correct, correct, correct. It is for zero. Correct. Zero. Very and good. It, it is a case insensitive also, right? Ah, uh, it is case sensitive, not insensitive. This is so case sensitive. Uh, That's what this I will show you this example. Okay. Uh, okay. Before going to all this example here, I think this was confusing. Uh, is this clear or not? No, actually, for that second last from second, I have doubt. Last from second, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I will explain this again. Okay, and if this is not clear, we can take it again in the next class because it is eight fourteen now. From here, what I am telling that I think this is the one. No, this is the one, right? Okay. From here, what I am telling that SQL engine please the stand on the name column. Okay, so he is standing at this name column. This is clear. Okay. Yeah. Now I am telling SQL engine to search for this character A. Okay. So it will search for the character in all these values. Okay, minus one. Minus one means you have to you have to check it from the back. We have to count from the backward direction. Or or is remove this. Forget about this here. Forget about this minus one. Forget about this. Concentrate on two. Two means what? Second occurrence. Second occurrence. Second occurrence. Okay. Second occurrence. So Muhammad Khan, there is no second occurrence. So leave this one. In Raj Kumar, do you have second occurrence of a yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I think this is the second occurrence. Yeah. Correct. If uh, minus one means uh, this is not correct. No, no, no. Leave, leave this one. Minus one. Leave minus one. Leave yeah, this. Okay. Forget about this. Okay. Forget about this for the timing. Name a comma two. I am telling to search for the character a. And this Raj Kumar, and from starting from here only, don't go reverse backwards. Yeah. Nothing from simple way. It will start from here. It will search for the second occurrence of A. So SQL will see that okay is coming here. This is the first occurrence. It will move, and here it is the second occurrence. Okay. Yeah. So so far yeah. so good. Everything is clear. Okay. Yeah. Clear. Okay. Now now I am telling to count it from backward direction. From count it. Backward direction. That is why I've written minus one here. That sequel. Now you please tell me the position of this from backward direction. So from backward direction position is second. That's yeah. why it is two here. Okay. 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 Yeah. If, I, yeah. if instead of minus one, if I will write one, so it means I am telling to sequel that no, no, no. Start from here. Start from here. So it will count from here. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth position, right? Let me show you this. One comma two eighth position. Yeah. Correct. Okay, oh, guys. So still, if this is not clear, no, not a concern. We will repeat this on Monday. Okay, we'll repeat this one. Finish. But you should know. Okay, this is this is very important concept. Some of my questions are making are based on this. Okay. Any other question? Final call. Uh, uh, can we, uh, I have question, but we can cover on Monday also. No. Okay, because it's too late. Others will be getting delayed. Okay. Uh, fine. Fine, guys. So if no no questions, so I will share the assignment today. We have time Saturday and Sunday. Please work on that. Uh, okay. Just two more minutes. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to complete next week. Okay. And these all things. So this will take time. So I will try to complete next week. Okay, but first before that, how many of you want that note? Then we please complete by next week at any cost. I don't have time to extend this. Anyone? Let's check timelines. I cannot just spend much time. Or you all are comfortable if I can take one more week? Yeah, yeah comfortable because all the concepts will take time, like drawings and CTH. Hmm. I don't have any concern because I think we need two more weeks, okay? Because this will take at least one week, and for this I have to spend one more week. Because I I think this, this is the third week or second week, guys. Third, third week. Third week, no? Third week, yeah. And I think I have promised that I will complete in three to four weeks, but uh, we have to go for one more week, okay? But if anyone is having any concern, you can ping me, okay? Sanvir, you can test uh, this topic for a two months or so. 
ठीक है Okay, because you know these all concepts coming, these concepts will will stand on top of all these previous concepts. Okay, otherwise what will happen? You will start feeling bored, and you will then think that no, this is tough. So far, how was that? It, it, did you think this is tough? Anything? All the keywords are very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Just you have to practice and you have to implement that in the questions. That's all. Okay. Take care. Fine then, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.